Hello guys and welcome back here in Brunei to the sim. I've taken the uh, version 5 throttle apart. Here's the old place plate. Now this was the, the servo hole here that used to go here. This whole thing needs reprinting. I'm going to change it out for a stepper and we've made a few modifications. So here is the old speed brake guide and we've got this new one now and hopefully you can see that just here there are indentations. So you've seen the new indents. What I've got to do is get this fitted to the old shell just for test purposes to make sure it's going to work. That part was a nice easy replacement. Let's shift that to one side. Now let's rebuild the new throttle stem. Here we have the green one. This is the old version. And we've got the new version. I've already transferred the big bearings over at the back. And this one's got a tiny little hole here for a nine millimeter bearing. Hopefully that bearing is just gonna fall in to the side. Tiny little spring. That goes in there. And that spring is held in by the speed brake stem handle. See, as I'm pushing the bearing in, that is gonna sit into those detents we've created in the runner. I've got to finish this off now by putting the actual stem ball bearings on. And I think that's this version of the throttle stem complete. We'll get it onto the base, get it tightened up and see how it feels. And I believe this just pushes on. That's the stem and the new runner installed. Let's see how it feels. Can you hear it actually detenting into position? That's absolutely brilliant. Okay, on to the next part, and that is to replace the servo mechanism with the stepper unit. So what we can't do is check the fit of the stepper or the stepper mechanism for the speed brake using this part here. So what I've done is I've redesigned it on Fusion. I have just cut out this single section here and this is just to check the gear meshing of the three units. We've got a mid-drive unit, we've got the hall sensor, and we've got the stepper. In fact, let me find where the, uh, I've put the, the mid-drive. That's behind me. So this is a brand new part. It takes a 6202 bearing. And the idea is, is that's gonna have to go on last. I need the stepper motor next. Is to put the stepper motor in. Have I put that the right way around? Yes, I have. Stepper motor's on. Hall sensor next. Hopefully you can see that I've left the hall sensor loose so we can adjust the gear meshing depth as we require. That leaves the mid gear drive to go on. So I'm gonna push the hall sensor against the big gear and then tighten it up. One. It's fantastic to see that the gear meshing appears to work perfectly. It feels good, it has that friction that's been held by the stepper motor again. So this gear meshing and stepper mechanism is designed to fit in this bottom corner here. This corner here is this corner here. So basically I've just sliced this design and just printed those three square inches really. You can see that I've used my thing as a very crude holding device. That's where the shaft of the new uh, left hand side will come through and you can see it's basic operation. You can see that this link here is not interfering with the brake stem which is what I was worried about. In fact it's very clear now and, and I'm very cautious of this. This cut out here is the through drive for the trim wheels. So I don't really want to get too close to this because otherwise we might have some interference problems. Okay guys, for this update, pretty much done. I'm pretty happy with the speed brake mechanism. I think we're gonna go ahead and push print. That's about a two to four day print depending on the infill quality. In that time, I will now go and make all the adjustments to the right hand side and especially put the mounting holes in to put the parts together, which I missed originally. I'll see you in a few days, sim out.